Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another junk journal with me. Um, this is the ninth one, um, I think. So here I'm working in my um, larger junk journal. So it's sort of it's it's around A5 size, um, and it's quite quite the chunky uh, chunky beast. But um, I think I might have put too many pages in it because uh, I'm just about to finish the first signature, and it's already quite thick so we'll see how that goes I might need to take out some pages later on um, but yeah so another chatty junk journal with me because um, I was asking on Instagram uh, what sort of videos people want to see in the new year and um, I've got a quite a good response with um, the chatty videos that I do so uh, I thought I would talk over this one so uh, that was me obviously fussy cutting a flower, um, it is time consuming to do but um, I really like the effect in the end so I sort of just suffer through it if you know what I mean, like I tend to do that usually when I'm watching TV or um, you know you've got something on in the background so uh, the whole time that I was watching, not the whole time I was watching, the whole time I was journaling this page I was watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, I'm on season four at the minute still. Um, I started watching it like two years ago but I'm still only on season four um, and I think have they announced season six for the new year? Um, so I'm still catching up with that but I am really enjoying it and um, Jake is just the funniest guy. He's my favourite character I think in it but I also really like uh, Gina um, just her attitude, um, it really makes me laugh some of the things that she comes out with so uh, yeah here I have a new to me supply so these are vellum design blocks so some of them are just patterns so you've got like I don't know stripes or hearts or little crisscrosses and then there's also one I got that has um, phrases in it and um, I'm really sorry about this when I was cutting the vellum phrase out I accidentally nudged my desk which nudged my tripod um, so I do slightly uh, slip out of view here um, but I, I do realize and I fix it but you can still see what I'm doing so what I did there rather than just gluing it down because it's uh, vellum so it's sort of a bit see-through I wasn't sure what I still wanted to put on the page underneath so I was working along the side and so I just stapled it um, at the top and at the bottom just to uh, add it in without sort of um, you know so I could change my mind if I wanted to add anything underneath it um, and then uh, in my ink dory there that I just pulled out the little chocolate leather uh, notebook. Uh, I kept these uh, little scraps of vintage paper. So, um, Sunny, uh, Mia vibes on Instagram. She kindly sent me um, these little tear books. I think she calls them um, in a happy mail. And I believe she's planning on opening up her shop again, which is super exciting because she always has the best vintage papers and. Uh, cutest little bits and pieces in her junk journals so if you haven't seen her work on Instagram I definitely recommend checking it out um, I really really like her journals um, so what I'm doing here is this is a map page so I've kind of used um, that as the base then I've come in with a neutral uh, text page um, and then on the top I'm using gri gri mm, can't speak, grid paper, no not even grid paper, graph paper um, to kind of create a writing spot that also has a bit of like interest around it so uh, that's kind of uh, a way you can create a writing spot if you have a busy page um, I think I've mentioned that before, um, I really like doing little like um, they're like clusters so you can like build up like two or three different pieces of scrap paper so you might ne not necessarily have used them but if you like group them all together they can create a nice little spot for you to write or for you to stick a photo you know sort of like frame uh, what you've got so I also added a little uh, cutout from a book page just a just a sentence really I can't it, it, it was just random and I just I wanted to cover the um, the hole that was there from the paper 
um, and then what I'm gonna do now is stamp onto the graph paper um, the date um, and the day and I have these teeny teeny tiny little stamps that I got from the works um, they were technically in a bullet journaling type set so you have like there's months days um, a little week title a month title to do and then there's like uh, little ones that say like mood tracker and sleep tracker and banners and little flags and stuff um, and I'm not really interested in using them for bullet journaling you know like the purpose of the set but I really liked how small the days of the week stamps are because sometimes when I want to stamp a word and I've only got not big stamps but you know like average size stamps and um, they are quite big and I don't necessarily always want it to take up like a whole like row or like a large section of the page so these numbers they are literally like a centimetre tall if that and um, they're really really small so they're really good for sort of um, smaller things that you want to do so that's how I've uh, created a little writing spot there I don't think I go and write on it now in this video but I'll probably go back and you know maybe add a photo or add a um, just just a quote some writing something like that so here I have a sticker sheet from books and teacups um, that she sent me um, but I'm using little little flowers from the floral floral sheet I think that is that I had there um, and I just thought they looked really cute uh, just just a couple of them just to sort of I always like to break up straight lines so say the top where that graph paper is it just felt too rigid to me especially when the junk journal style is so not rigid like you know it's quite a free and easy um, way of keeping track of things or you know just put it in what the stuff that you like um, I think that's why I enjoy it so much because the way I approach it it's sort of a hybrid of all different things really so the junk journal is sort of like the the system the like the basis of you know like what the book is made of so I'm not using just one type of paper in it but then I'm also you know it's a mix of uh, like a scrapbook and it's got all different bits of ephemera or if I get things in the post um, you know it's like part art journal um, part documentation so yeah I don't really know what to call it because it's sort of a hybrid of all these different things really I use it for um, anything for art journaling for memory keeping even I stick some photos in there receipts train ticket um, but also doodles any just uh, brain dumps writing um, it's really it's really anything and I think that's what's um, what I've enjoyed about this so much since I've started um, the, you know doing these junk, more junk journal style spreads is the freedom that you have to you know there's no I don't know it feels like there's no rigid like layouts or expectations because every page is different and every um, everyone's junk journals is going to be different so there's no like you know you can see similar spreads you know or you might be inspired by a certain type of layout but because ev everyone's junk journal is going to be different in the pages that it has there's no feeling of oh mine should look like that if that makes sense so I feel like I've loosened up a bit and um, there's things in here or like spreads that maybe I wouldn't have necessarily been happy with had they just been in a normal journal but because of the um, the way that the, the junk journals that laid out I feel a lot more comfortable to just um, you know go for it and uh, include whatever I want really and that's that's the most important thing and that's what I really enjoy about this and I feel like I've created way more and documented way more and I'm really enjoying it at the minute and I think I've found the style of journaling that 
it suits me and I really like it. Um, and here I'm jumping between different pages. So I've got um, a page. That, so it has like text on it and I didn't want to stick something over the top of it and necessarily cover it completely. Um, I still wanted to be able to maybe, you know, have a secret writing spot, if you will, underneath that, um, you know, if someone opened it up, they didn't necessarily see it. That was the first thing they saw. So I layered um, tea dyed paper and tracing paper, stapled it on the edge like I did with the vellum on the other page. And that kind of answers the question I get quite a lot of, what do you put in a junk journal? Um, basically anything you want, um, cards, mail, receipts, uh, anything you come across just in your life, photos, you can jot things down, do your to-do list, do your shopping lists, um, just things you find pretty, your tea bag, um, not the actual tea bag, um, the, either the bag, like the the, the bag that the, the bag comes in. Oh my goodness, do you know what I mean? The wrapper, the wrapper, that's the word I was looking for. The wrapper, the tea bag wrapper, or the little um, thing that's on the end of the string sometimes, and they have like little nice quotes. Um, they're really cool to include. Um, yeah, vintage ephemera, if that's what you like. Um, I assume you must maybe like it if you're watching this video, because I do a lot of vintage ephemera stuff. <laughs> Yeah, pressed flowers, um, anything. Uh, you could have your friends or your family or your uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whoever. You know, they could sign your journal, write little notes. Um, that's always cute. Um, on planar pages like this, I like to do borders sometimes. So this is just um, a regular uh, permanent marker, black permanent marker. And I've just created a border just to sort of um, give the page a bit of a like structure if that makes sense um, and it's totally bled through onto the other side um, I expected that because of the paper it's not you know thick paper or cardstock or anything like that but it doesn't matter like I'll just go back um, at another point and cover the other side you know that's like now an opportunity where I could maybe do a little like collage border around the outside to cover that up um, or uh, what else could I do? I could just cover the page completely if I really wanted to or I could paint over the page. Um, I've tend to found I've not used my watercolours as much in this junk journal um, partially because I don't know where they are so I really need to organise my craft space and find my watercolours um, because I do miss using them but um, because of the different papers that are in the junk journals um, I think maybe whether I need to add, you know, watercolour paper um, into the signatures or I could, you know, washi tape some watercolour paper in because I'm just kind of scared of using watercolour or any paints on such thin paper um, because I don't want it to, you know, make a whole big mess because I'm just not here for that. So that's why I've been doing a lot of like collaging and sticking things in and just playing it safe so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this uh, chatty little junk journal with me um, where I just ramble um, and uh, um, if you ever want me to talk about something specific or if you have any questions um, shoot me a DM on Instagram or um, leave it in the comments down below um, please give me things to talk about basically because um, I'd love to answer your questions or talk about things you want me to talk about um, so yeah um, I've said thank you for watching <laughs> oh my goodness guys I'm getting better I swear I'm getting better at these voiceovers but they're still a, a struggle <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, I guess practice makes perfect, whatever, so I'll just keep keep on keeping on and um, hopefully you guys enjoy seeing these videos. So yeah, uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Um, I've got all my links down below um, to my Instagram and everything like that. Um, and yeah, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, yeah. Bye, guys.